welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to talk you through my 1973 Fender Stratocaster rebuild. I'd also like to provide an overview and demo of the replacement parts that I chose. And when I found this guitar, it already had a bridge humbucker retrofitted into it. And I saw this as an opportunity for an upgrade. So the pickup I chose was the Mule by Bare Knuckle Pickups. Now the Mule is one of Bare Knuckle's best selling humbuckers and it's based on that famous 1959 paint and applied for design. For the single core pickups, I chose the 63 veneer board models. I wired all those up and I used a push pull pot on the volume control and that allowed me to split the coils of the Mule humbucker so I get a single coil and a humbucker and that allows me to access both those classic single coil sounds in the bridge of the Strat and also that supercharged bridge humbucker sound. Now I also popped in the big gold bare knuckles capacitor and I think this is a great upgrade, it really improves the sound. I also use the bare knuckle taper pot and I'm going to demonstrate how that volume pot works later on in the video. The other thing I did was to wire the middle pickup and the bridge pickup out of phase. I'm a big fan of Peter Green and also Brian May and I wanted to get that sort of out of phase nasal lead tone at my disposal. So when I select the bridge and the middle pickup, I get that sort of Peter Green sound. The only other modifications were to the tuning heads. I fitted the spurs or locking tuners just to increase tuning stability. And I also popped in a Wilkinson tremolo unit and that just improves the functionality of the 70s trem. I like doing those Jeff Beck whammy bar moments and this really improves the overall tuning stability and functionality of the tremolo system. Okay, let's dive into those sound bites. So I'm using a fairly standard setup, a Fender amplifier on clean, and then a selection of pedals. I've got an overdrive pedal, a clean booster, a wah wah pedal, and also a couple of delay pedals. If you have any questions about this setup, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any specific pickup questions, I can highly recommend giving the guys at Bare Knuckle Pickups a ring. They're super knowledgeable and they'll be able to help you get the correct pickup for the sound that you're after. The Mule Humbucker has become one of my all time favorite pickups. It has a lovely open sound with great articulation and string balance. Splitting the cores provides a really usable single core style tone and I've found that when I've split the cores on other humbuckers, this is not always achievable. I find the voicing of this humbucker works really well when I'm in bottleneck slide mode. With a higher gain setting, I find I can coax some mule into a singing sustain with rich harmonic overtones. I've wired up the middle pickup so it's out of phase with the bridge. When I select the bridge and the middle together, it gives me a unique tone reminiscent of players like Peter Green. I'm going to toggle between the bridge pickup and the bridge and middle together so you can hear the difference. I 
I find the 63 veneer board single coil pickups have a crystal clear tone with a bow like quality. In this next example, I'm gonna be playing with a clean tone and I'm gonna use a little shimmer of the Wilkinson tremolo. The middle pickup also works particularly well with the wah wah pedal. Combining the middle and neck pickup is my go to setting for R&B style popping and funky strumming. The neck pickup has plenty of bite and attack and provides a slightly different Nile Rogers style flavour for funky strumming. In this next example, I'm going to play a simple lead line so you can hear the difference between the bridge pickup and neck pickup lead tones. To finish up, I'm going to repeat the same rhythm idea and move between each of the pickup settings so you can hear the difference. I'm also going to adjust the volume control to further expand the tonal palette. That's it for this video. Overall, I'm delighted with how the 73 Strat rebuild turned out. Before, it didn't really hold tune, the tremolo didn't really work, and also the pickups and wiring had definitely seen better days. I feel that the bare knuckle pickups were the perfect choice for retaining that vintage character, whilst providing some opportunities for upgrading and expanding the options and pickup selections. The Spurzel tuners really hold the tune in nicely, and that Wilkinson Trem operates like a modern two-point Trem would, only on the vintage 73 Strat. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.